they call me. Hey, let's play. Welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. What's your boy here? They call me Arthur Morgan, leaning on his pole here. Uh, of course, I hate that it always starts with, it's like, oh, alert, you have to save your game. It's like, yeah, thanks. Anyways, let's see what we have planned for today. Open up our map. We do have a stranger's mission up here. It's relatively close by. I think the rest of the missions are about base, and sure enough, they are. So, uh, yeah, we'll go do the stranger's thing. We also have that bounty. Maybe I'll run up there and grab that as well. Ooh, we also have, this is, uh, what's his face, right? Yeah, eagle flies. Yeah, native dude. So, yeah, we'll do that, and we'll pop over here, then we'll, fl we'll ride all the way out there. That's what we're going to do. Hey, do you all right. Need what do we have oh, here? Really yeah, right there, buddy. <laughs> what's up? What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh. All right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. For good cause. Boy wants me to bring him a hundred gallons. Moving that kind of shine. It'll be that stagecoach guy and roads. Uh, yeah, maybe one day I'll get to that. That's a bit of a distance, but yeah, let's go to our next mission. Apparently there's another stranger mission, like right around the corner, so I guess, uh... Hop in here and see what it is. So I wonder what it is. Hello? Somebody? In this house? This is a greenhouse? Looks like a greenhouse. Uh, what are you doing in here, sir? Or, or madame? No, it's a sir. Extremely delicate. Wonderful. Algin and Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite, Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a, uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes, yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need... Fifteen assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Oh, Tacitus Kilgore is a pretty fucking dope name. <laughs> uh, old pause for more details. Uh, fashion designer and collector of exotic flora and fauna asks for assistance tracking out some rare items from several clinicians. Five five reddish plumes, snowy plumes, fifteen of fifteen lady of the night orchids. 
Probably stuff I'll never do, because if it's not on the map, which it ain't, you know, it's like shit, you just got to know where it's at, which is easy. You can just look it up online, right? And figure it out. But it just seems annoying. So, yeah, it's probably something I'm going to do anytime soon, but we'll see. We'll see. Go we'll get ourselves a uh, bounty hunting job right now, shall we? All right, let's locate Mark Johnson. He is wanted alive, so I can't kill his ass, unfortunately. Uh, let me make sure I got the right guns here. Um, go bow and arrow and a repeater. Why not? He's somewhere around here. I'm a little bit worried about uh, running into a crocodile or an alligator or something. We ain't going to. <gasps> They're here for your bounty. What's up, Mark? Boy. All right, buddy. Don't shoot. I'm an arm. All right. You was coming. I got something to ask. Mm -hmm. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Uh, sure. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. He's gonna clock me, isn't he? I'll back up a bit just in case. Boy, boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't. Don't I ain't leave. gonna fight you in front of my family, okay? All right, you coming? He's gonna pull a gun on me, isn't he? You gonna take me or what? Yeah. I'm not sure how. Lasso, I guess. Oh my god, the horse kicked me. The horse is a bad guy. I guess I got a lasso him. Yeah, a lasso him. Take me, take me. All right, bud. I don't know why I didn't mean to tackle his ass. Alright, Mark. Picking him up. I was hoping uh, I could just let him go. I was gonna just let him go. I don't give a shit, but whatever. Alright. Let's go to Rhodes. That was easy enough, I guess. See you guys in Rhodes. What the fuck? That son of a bitch. Come back, you little snake. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, no, you... no, 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 no. You try to run from me, bruh? No, 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 no. That's not how we play this game. No, 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 no. Alright? I will put a bow, an arrow, into your leg if you try that again. Just as a threat. Alright, pick him up. Fucking guy trying to trying to jump off my the back of my horse. That's that again. He's getting shot in the ass. Now what was the point in all that? Could have got your neck broke premature. There he is. Oh, like friends, eh? All right. Sam, all right, Sam. Go back to his well, you're gonna have trouble with us. They have trouble with me, buddy. That's what you're gonna have trouble with. I can hit my shots, that is. I don't know what the hell my guns are doing right now. Why are you running? Oh my god, stop. Stand still, horse. There you go. Oh, there's more guys. Fuck. No. There's more up there. It's fine. That might have been actually the ranchers that were shooting at me and not his friends. <laughs> That's what you get, idiot. You're next if you try it again. All right, Mark Johnson, put you in the cell where you belong. On a small Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. Well, that was easy enough. <laughs> That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it. Someone else would have. How much is it? Twenty-five. Imagine. I know it's twenty-five bucks, and it's a lot of money back then. But imagine like bounty hunting someone in real life for twenty dollars, twenty-five bucks. 
Yeah, I, I want to risk my life. Sure. Uh, we're we in Rhodes, right? There's uh, what's his face is right here, the professor. We'll go see him real quick. Since we're in town, might as well. I don't remember what mission this is, but <laughs> oh, the guy with the yeah, yeah, the dude with the uh, hookups. That's what it is. And tell me where to get all that alcohol. I would assume. Professor. Glad you dropped Hello, in. sir. I've got that uh, information you asked for. Yeah, I'd like uh, to ask about it. There we go. Ask about the moonshine. There you go. Um, need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Blue Water Marsh Couch Tip. Is that what that said? Couch Tip. That makes more sense. Couch Tip. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, let's see what it says. Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north of St. Denis. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. X. Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north of St. Denis. Okay. So that'd be... Blue Water Marsh. I'm not entirely sure where that is. Oh, so it's actually on the map. Okay, that's nice. We'll get to that eventually, since we're close to this other mission. Well, not really, but we're going to go over to Citadel Rock. Can I go to Valentine? Like, fast travel? I might be able to fast travel, but if I can't, I'll take the horse. We'll find out. All right, let's uh, hang out with the natives, shall we? What do we got going on here? I don't know what we're doing. Robbing something or something? Something like that? Honestly, cannot remember. He came. Of course, he came. Said I would. What about oil? Foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. There. You see that light up there? I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Crawl in a wagon, you say? You are quick. You could climb into the back of that wagon. How do I get in? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Quick enough, I guess. I hate shit on the way down. But yeah, I just get rid of this waypoint because it's gonna be annoying. My horse follow me too. He's not gonna follow me. I forgot the whistle before I went in. Oh well. You tell me they're not gonna look in this back of this wagon when I get inside. Seems kind of weird. But if you say so. Hello, hello, view. Let's go cinematic camera. Why not? Give it a more uh, cinematic view, if you will. Back in the old west, where everything was powered by horses. Now horses are extremely expensive. <laughs> Only the rich are allowed to have them. Are they even wild horses anymore? Probably not, eh? That's something crazy to think about. There used to just be like horses running ar yeah. around in the wild. Like foxes. Better get a move on then. Or wolves. Didn't even check the back, dude. It's awful. Like, I understand that there was like a blanket there and I could hide under the blanket, but like, come on. <laughs> Whatever. He's gonna be big dumb dumb. He can be a big dumb dumb. Should I jump out now? I don't even know how to get out. I guess I gotta wait until it stops to move. Oh my god, what is this camera, dude? Make me sick. Sneak into factory. I'm gonna try to go straight up top. It's probably locked, is my guess. Yeah. If I 
probably take the ladder. Maybe I can go through a window up here or something. Potentially. Potentially? Ooh. There's a window right there. What? Who the fuck spotted me? <laughs> Alright. Apparently someone. Danbury destroyed the documents. What, did I drop in front of him or something? Very confused. Oh my god, really? That's awful. Alright. Alright, this time I'm gonna go bottom floor since somehow I got caught last time. There's people inside here. I don't know if I'm allowed to kill them or not. I have a feeling this is gonna be a real pain in the ass, this mission. Just a thought. Okay, so I gotta get to that staircase on the other side, obviously. Oh my god. Ooh. Eat him up. Alright. Nothing, it was nothing. No, no, no. There's nothing. <laughs> Run! Why am I running like a little girl, dude? What the fuck? Bitch slap. Shoot! Oh, shoot him! What the fuck? Who am I shooting? Why have I not lost this mission yet? Last, last time I got caught, and immediately they burned the document. This time they're like, nah, fuck it. Have a shootout. No, no, next house. Next house, next. Get inside! <laughs> Jesus. Oh what do you want? You must be damn bear. Alright. What? Oh, I literally jumped in front of the window he was at. Right now. Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. One about the oil near Wapiti. Answer me or I just keep beating your ass. No, no, that's not the answer. Hurry up. Danbury. Think Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice floor as this. This guy just does he know how to speak English? Swear. Get it. Thank you, sir. Be taking that. I got these guys can't get through this door. <laughs> Just a little chair. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Big doubts. Danbury. Danbury. You okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Oh, not even this window. It's this window they want me to go through. All right, well, bye, guys. See ya. I, I have no idea, like, how you didn't burn it this time, but whatever. My native friend gonna save my life. Whoa! All right. All right, boys. Can I get my gun out, please? Hello? Let that boy on fire. So hard to see at nighttime, man. Oh, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. See ya. <laughs> Why get into a gunfight when I can just fucking run? <laughs> They're never gonna catch me. You're never gonna catch me! I thought it was a UFO at first. I'm gonna reload your guns. That'd be a good idea. In case I do get into a fight. Yeah, yeah, I'm planning on returning to him. I don't know where my horse is at. It's too far away. Over here. I'm coming, I'm coming. You got, a, you got a whip for me? Yeah, you do. Hey, my horse. We. I've already escaped the factory. I'm not even in the factory anymore. Are oh, they chasing? Somehow they caught up to us in lickety split speeds. It's fine though. I don't know, it's not fine. Hold on a second.
There you go. Now it's fine. <laughs> oh, run into a fucking. I'm gonna get some bank for this mission. Hope so. We're almost clear. Are we? I think we've been clear for a minute. Came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Pretty good. Made uh, $250. $125 and also a hat <laughs> Free hat, baby. That's all that matters. Okay. What's next? Uh, let's see. Let's see. What do we got? Probably head back into town. No, it's actually closer to go here and do that stupid uh, Mission for the professor so we'll go do that. All right, now I gotta wait for a fucking wagon fun Let's go ahead and put this on the side here. I don't know if I need him I get rid of the stupid waypoint as well. I wish it would go away when you got to the certain area that you were supposed to be at, but it doesn't for some reason. Is that a turtle? Snapping turtle. Double snapping turtles. Interesting. I still have no idea what tracking does. It just has like this bar, but it doesn't really do anything. Alligator snapping turtle can mess you up, man. I'm telling you. Cause look at this, like the bar, and then it turns red. Not sure how that works. Anyways, uh, oh, here we go. I need better guns for this, methinks. Hold on a second. Let's go ahead and whip out our uh, Lancaster repeater. Probably the best bet. Not Springfield rifle. There we go. Yeah, let's go Springfield rifle. Sorry guys, but why can't I lock onto this guy for what the fuck? Hello? Well, my dead eyes too low, I guess. You ain't getting nothing. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? That's bullshit. Whatever. Alright, where's my horse? Come on. Get over here, you fucking what the hell are you doing in a bush? Oh my god, stupid idiot. Oh my dead eye was so low. Whatever, let me uh, boost that real quick. Uh, this is what I want. Thank you. Catch back up and uh, deliver some death to these guys. Didn't really want to kill them, but I figured it's the only way I probably could get the wagon. <laughs> God, this gun is not the best. There we go. Okay, he's dead. Uh, catch up to him. Come on, BBH, I believe. I believe in you. It helps a little low. I should probably eat something, huh? Uh, use an item. Boost that up. I guess full health so I don't get fucking killed here because that'd be embarrassing. There we go. Okay, I'll stop the wagon. This guy can't shoot and drive at the same time, so it's easy pickings now. Sorry, right, boys. Just needed to uh, steal your wagon. While well, I'm here, uh, let me loot you too. Thanks for the goods. Thanks for 65 cents. Woof. Tough life. Let's get you home. I need back up to right bumper, right? So I gotta be careful with the moonshine, because obviously if I crash, I could blow up, right? Because <laughs> it's super flammable. 
Hey, check out my sick reversing skills. Oh yeah, all right. Let's go. All right. So we'll be back when we get to Professor's Moonshine. Unless I get attacked on the way there, which is a high possibility. There you go, buddy. Mm. I just have to kill four humans for it. Not a big deal. It's for a very good cause. My name is Professor Andrew Bell the Third. Perhaps you've heard of me. Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Maybe you've read about me. Uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money. Um, oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers, excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? You see, it's a chair full of electricity. And quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Boy, why do I always gotta be doing things that are pointless? All right. Ah, what the fuck off? I'm trying to open. Oh my god, I'm just trying to open the map. I don't know why they made pause like the button for like literally everything in this game. Uh, who the hell is Charles Chatonay? Oh, the artist guy. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, I guess we're just doing all these little side missions in in town first. I'll do this, and I'll do the Charles Chatonet. I think that's what his name was. No main missions in this video, only side missions. <laughs> Even though we already did a main mission. I need to speak to the mayor. So maybe I could just go through this door. Get permission to demonstrate electric chair. Uh, I have to go through this door. Sorry, I thought we were speaking to the mayor. I was speaking to the, the chief of police. My bad. Whoops. What can I do for you, <sighs> chief? I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he uh he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Yeah, no problem. I'll negotiate a bit, though. Look, this will save you, you know, money you got to negotiate. You got to be a proper businessman in this game. It'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But I'll give you a permit for 50 Yeah, 50 fine. I could have done 100 because, you know, I'm fucking rolling in the cash, but... Okay. Always well, be trying to get yourself the best deal. Look at that guy's hat back there. I want it. Is your permit? A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. All right, that was easy enough. Let's go back to the professor and tell him that he can fucking invent the electrical chair and be an asshole and kill people like a dick. All right, boy, here's a gosh darn permit. I hop the fence. Of course not, eh? No, no, I can't, I can't jump one foot in the air to grab onto the fence. I gotta go around. Ah, hello, friend. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell. Professor Professorson. So, the chief says you can test out your machine, ah. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. God damn, bruh. This is the world's longest set of missions. Oh, I just gotta find him. He better be on the map. Catcher McDaniel's alive. What the? Open the fucking thing. Let me see. 
Let me look at the tape. We'll get this guy here. Honor for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. Whatever the hell that is. Banging animals. Ninety-five dollar reward. Damn, son. All right. Assuming he'll pop up as a either professor or what's it called? Bounty mission. Oh, where is this guy living? Is the real question. Holy. Hello. Oh my God! All right, that's a bit of a ways away. Probably a good idea to uh, take the stagecoach to Emerald Ranch. Yeah, All right, we'll do that. Locate McDaniel's up here somewhere. Take care of his boys first, though. Let me uh, go ahead and use uh, one of these bad boys. Where was it? Uh, keen eye, that's the one I'm looking for. Thank you. About my dual pistols. I bet I'm about to pop, pop, and he pops them, boys. Pop that guy in the head. Pop this dude in the head. Just go bop, bop. I miss. How did I miss? Daniel's escaping. All right, well, I'll be chasing him on my horse then. This horse fast as fuck, boy. Did he go down? What the fuck did he get down? He jumped off this with his horse. He's like a nutcase. Oh, yeah. Probably don't want to do that. DBH, I hope you don't follow me down that hill. I hope you just show up eventually. There we go. Thank you, sir. That lost him. I knew I was going to lose him. Let's try that again. Hopefully this brings me to where I am and not all the way back at the beginning because that would suck. Right, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. If I get this guy's attention, the other guy's gonna run off, right? So. There you go. <laughs> oh, I'll get his attention. Where's my horse? Alright, here we go. I'll just, uh, you know, chase him when he decides to run. What the fuck? Where are you coming from? Get out of here. Are you regretting this yet? I'm just killing all your friends. Make sure I don't kill the, the, the wrong guy, you know? Get up the hill. What am I stuck on? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Look at my horse. Look at him. What's going on? <laughs> I have no idea what that was. Appa apparently, I just can't go up the hill. I'm like frozen. What, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <sighs> oh, he's gonna run away again because I can't move. Uh. There, I'll just take him down right away. Uh, just dismiss. I need my rope, please. There, yeah. No, no, no. Get back on the ground. No, 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 no. No, we're having none of that. Thank you very much. Come on. Do I got a special treat? Let me loot him real quick. Government can't pull. This is uh, very kind of you. Ooh, silver pocket watch. Cigarettes. Thanks, bro. Now I gotta deliver him all the way back. It's gonna take seven years, but it took me a billion years to get up here, so. Alright, stow him away and uh, we'll make our way back. I'm sure his friends are gonna come and try to kill me, but. Take me to damn court, ben. I'll take you to the electrical court. That's where I'll take you. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying. Killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. You came along and laid waste. Take me in, just take me to the jailhouse. 
You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Uh, you ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell you say, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. You mean? <clears throat> no! <laughs> well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. It's got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> but as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in the animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across a pasture sometime after storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned and half like the skin was ripped off. No. Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No. If I hadn't seen the storm, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief, but that's the fellow that took our moonshine. Oh fuck. <laughs> Wasn't expecting those guys to be showing up anytime soon. They on horses? Yeah they are, eh? Alright. Alright boys, settle down, settle down. Night night. You survive back there? Relax, all right? Thanks, okay, he, he got bucked, so that's fine. Oh my God, I'm stuck in this bullshit again. You can do there you go. Hey, uh, I'm sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there's a glitch if you use Deadeye on a horse, I guess. Uh -huh. Let me get off my horse. Well, go back on, maybe that'll fix it. Yeah, that fixed it. Okay, cool. Or McDaniels, he's gonna die. All right, here's your man. Only took seven years, but well, here we are. The professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no. <laughs> hey man, you're gonna die. Okay, whatever. Oh, we're also gonna let you get the shit out of you. Oh yeah. Okay. That was great. Bring him over here. I got him. There you go. Now where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Uh, oh, well. Once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there will be money enough for you, sir. Yeah, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. All right, we're going to move on to this other stranger's mission here because I don't feel like waiting to see where that guy's going. Uh, assuming in this alleyway? Yes. Guys? Oh no, inside the building. Oh, what's up? Hey, watch where you're oh, relax. Oh, someone banged? So much... Hey! Who the devil are you? As far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. But this cab, I said get out of here. Yeah. This is an outrage. I don't quite know why I did that. 
Because barbarity is boring, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. <sighs> Where do I come? <laughs> it's not how I meant that to come out. <laughs> Is there an invisible wall here? What the fuck? There's literally an invisible wall here. That's so weird. All right, uh, let's open the map real quick. I guess that that guy's mission will pop up eventually, but it's not here now, which means we can finally go back home and do a uh, actual story mission, I suppose. Now let's go do that. All right, let's do a Sadie mission. How What's up, doing, girl? Sadler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My oh, lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you going to let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> If you more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh, boy. <laughs> what the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover! Jesus. Look, Kieran got fucking murdered. That was their, uh... Guy that was part of the gang before, right? Kieran, I think. I'm pretty sure, anyways. The Driscolls are, uh, planning to fight. Or start a war with us, I guess. Pretty sure that's who Kieran was. It's so hard to remember people's names when I only recorded this like once a week. Kinda takes me out of the game, so I'm sorry if that uh, bothers you guys. <laughs> People watching would have a better memory, obviously, because obviously, because you'd get to see, uh, oh, you're lucky I didn't shoot you. You're watching this like, well, you're probably watching this by a week or two unless you're waiting for like a big bunch of episodes to come out. That's what you think, boys. You know what? Let's uh, just keep popping one at a time here. Why not? How did I miss that? Get in cover. Or just stand out in the open. You know what? Why am I only allowed to click on one guy? Is it because his gun only shoots once? That's the reason, I guess. Is that the reload? I have no idea. All right, fall back, fall back. My horse. Or, that's not my horse, but the horse. Push the cabinet. Yeah, we are. We'll get to the cabinet. Let me push it. I guess. Uh, I guess we're losing this house, eh? I guess we'll be moving somewhere else. Now everyone, I got this. Get these windows covered quickly, John. You take the windows over there, Charles. You take the side doors there, Arthur. You take the windows in the back. Go. All right. I don't think I really like this pistol or this carbine that I'm using. Peter rifle. Hi, night. Got a Mickey's. Oh, how did I miss that, dude? That's embarrassing. It's pretty that didn't happen. There you go. Oh, you want to get close? I don't have my shotgun, do I? Never mind. That's <laughs> gonna be like just shotgun blasting. 
Anybody else? Jesus Christ. Sadie getting attacked. Jump through the window and find Sadie. She getting molested, didn't she? Jump through the window. Jesus. Daddy's coming. Alright. I don't know how you ended up back here, but I was hoping I'd slide. Oh, she don't need help. <laughs> she don't need help. <laughs> Sadie. <laughs> He's a badass. All right, girl. Why didn't you get inside? And miss all this? Come on, Arthur. I don't think I gotta protect Sadie. She just took three guys on by herself. I think she's. I think she's fine. Now, you know what? Let's go pistols and try the. All right, who else is there? Is this guy here? There we go. There, we go. I should take care of those guys at least. They don't have to hurt a bit, you know? Oh, that should be clean shot, whatever. Crocodile's gonna come clean those bodies up for me. So one more guy in the water. I don't see where he's at. Oh, there he is. Night, night. Hold on, I just wanna loot. That guy's got a nice shirt. It's a nice color green. All right, one down. Ooh, I shot the guy right in the kneecap. <laughs> I don't know how that killed him, but I'll take it. Should probably uh, get cover, buddy. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I saved my life. Just barely. Just barely, but I got it. Ooh, that was a hell of a shot. Oh, did I get two for the price of one there? You better run. Fucking a Driscoll's piece of shit. Kieran's eyeballs. Take his head off. We okay? I think so. Except for Kieran here. Poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taken care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <sighs> Time to find another new place. Into the drink. Alligator's gonna be eating well tonight. <laughs> he saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Look at me writing in my right into my diary. Like a good boy. Alright. Uh morning to you. Yeah, I guess we'll uh hang out over here and I'm assuming it's here and not in a million miles away. It's a million miles away, never mind I lied. Uh this Dutch Vanderland. I think this might be like a last mission mission. Dutch has been invited investigating the trolley station tip from Bronte. I don't know. I'll do this one. If it isn't like the final mission of this thing, then we'll, you know, we'll come finish it next video or whatever. But all right, Dutch, I can hear you. What we got? What we got done here? But if they got to him, got inside there you walk. Head. Come on, keep walking. Oh, no. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. 
We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. Tahitians. <laughs> bit of money on that riverboat job, but uh. not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies oh, we're going right in. Jesus. This is a robbery. Not even a setup. I, tell you, and none of you will die. I feel like this is a bad idea. And you all will. Now, right <sighs> Let's just take some money from these guys. Don't make Thanks for your, your pence. Mr. M, leave these fine okay. folks of their valuables. Mr. M, got. check that room Quick. back there. Right. I got this one okay. dying. I'm just taking my money from these people on the ground. Don't mind me. There's dollar twenty-four cents. You know, I need that shit. I need that shit. Let my acquaintance get all your money now. Don't make me ask twice. Okay. Fine. It's yours. Oh hell yeah! I made like five bucks. There's nothing much here. <laughs> There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Yeah, you sure. Then get out okay, here. Then, partner. And get ready for coming now. All of you. You better open it. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M. Oh boy. Sure. We got ringing set up, obviously. Like obviously, Open. right? I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it. Yeah. What is it worth? All of like fifteen bucks? Jesus, There's dude. Almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars and coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's Good a job, boys. Of cops out there. Yep. Right that was obvious enough, eh? That's greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Oh, hell yeah. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> Oh god. Escape on the trolley. See ya. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? That's fucking funny. I'm wanted. I assume we're uh, leaving this place for good after this. I'm just gonna murder a bunch of cops. Don't mind me. Swap to the other side of the trolley with the X button. Okay, cool. Ooh, dirty shot. I don't think I don't see you up there. All right, I'm coming back. Come back. Yeah, man, that's what you get. Falling into the wrong, wrong uh, group of characters. Oof. Oh yeah, yeah, we're, we're picking up speed, eh? How the fuck do you want me to slow this thing down? Oh, we are moving, actually. <laughs> it seems like it's broken, bud. I'm gonna have to uh, tuck and roll. Oh, boy. <laughs> Someone's getting arrested, right? We're not all getting out of this alive. Jesus. As long as it's not me, that's all that matters. Oh fuck. Alright, uh, let's just do this. Bop, bip, bop, boop. There you go. Oh, I missed the last guy. There you go. Nice hair, buddy. You're still alive up there? What the fuck? Why is it always end with me killing like a billion cops? <laughs> you know? Whatever, whatever uh, I do anything, it's like, oh yeah, let's go kill all the cops now. All 600 of them. Hard to tell if you kill that guy. Follow Lenny. Alright, well go Lenny, you gotta fucking pick up. Where am I following to? He's not moving. There we go, now he's moving. 
Go, Leonard, run. That guy just chilling there for some reason. He didn't shoot back at me. Yeah, you got a fucking clock, dude. Thought I killed that guy. Guess not. Jesus. <laughs> How the fuck would I, like, not ever be wanted after this? After killing all these people? It's like, obviously, the Italian guy knows who we are. He'd just be like, oh yeah, that was Arthur Morgan and all the other guys. Actually, we give them fake names anyway, so... But still. I guess my ability to grow and not have a beard every five seconds is pretty handy, too. <laughs> He had no beard. And then he had a beard. <laughs> it can't be the same guy. Jesus. Shoot the guy directly in front of you, please. You're still alive? Okay, now he's dead. I was to say, man. Also, why am I not using both my pistols? There you go. I'll speed up the process. Get the guy off the high ground first. This guy above me. What the fuck? Woo! Yeah, whistle that, bitch. <laughs> They're next. Yeah, I got him, dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're gonna need it. Look at my fucking. My. Whatever it's called. Morality meter? I don't even know. Good cowboy, bad cowboy meter. This is going, going to shit from this mission. That's a nice picture, though. It very well might be the uh, thumbnail for this one. <laughs> Alright. I'm here, man. There you go. This boy's got like, like six concussions. <laughs> Brain damage. How is that not a headshot? Excuse me? Whatever. That one was. There's so many cops. I literally, I think I killed the, the entire police force in this city <laughs> by the end of this mission. That is a little ridiculous. Is everyone a cop in the city? I'm honestly really, cons are really interested in knowing how many people I've killed in this playthrough. I should have made a counter before I started. It's up there. I'm in the way over double digits right now, I can tell you that much. So again, use both pistols. Oof. See ya. See ya, nerd. Oh, we made it out, I think. No, nope, there's still one more guy chasing. He's really far back, though. They blocked the road. Hold on. Use this. Was that a grenade? A dynamite? Oh my god. You better get a good toss. Ooh! That is the most impressive shot ever, by the way, right there. You see any more? Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? That was nuts. I think I have to change my clothes after this one. <laughs> Where are we headed to? In the middle of a swamp? Okay, sure, why not? I guess that's where we live now. Swamp people. We're swamp people now, Charlie. <laughs> I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time. It's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Yeah, and we each got... Fifteen dollars. Ugh. <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me. 
like a yokel. Put the law on us? What do we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? Killing the king? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. All right, well, I feel like that's a good stopping point for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, tell me what your favorite part was. Make sure to leave a like, and as always, share the great gospel here the call me, and I'll catch you on the next one. So until next time.